welcome to my weekly podcast on a way to a dream. Here I will talk about what stops you from achieving your goals, how to set goals effectively, and finally, how to make your dreams come true. Hello, hello guys, welcome to my weekly podcast which I'm kicking off today and I'm going to tell you now why am I doing it at all and what is it that I'm going to talking I'm going to be talking here about. So I've uh, moved to actually Netherlands two years ago, a little bit even more than two years ago. And ever since, I mean, I was moving here being seven or eight months pregnant. <laughs> so you can imagine that my priorities were slightly shifted to the different direction, how to become a mom and all of that. And of course, for the first few months, as in like 15, 16 months, <laughs> I was trying to survive the parenting and really did not focus on getting friends around in the Netherlands. And now I find myself struggling a lot with that because I, in addition to that, I've shifted to the part-time job in my corporation as well. So the work that helped me relocate to the Netherlands and I'm no longer that much exposed to the, you know, corporate life and all the people that I used to meet previously at my job. And um, of course, being completely new in the country and the city, I am kind of finding myself in a situation where I'm like, I'm doing some videos, some blogs, some, I don't know, some influencing, is that called these days? But I don't have anyone to go out for a coffee with. And in this podcast, what I wanted to actually do is, I thought that um, quite a few people might be struggling with the same thing as myself. I'm not the only one relocating and changing countries these days. Uh, and also, I just wanted to share, you know, my path with you, what I do about it, where do I start looking for the friends, and I kind of wanted to do sort of a commitment in front of you <laughs> that I will actually action it somehow, because I've been thinking about this already for the last year, I think, but I never moved anywhere to actually do something about it, uh, rather than just complain. So this is exactly what it's going to be. This weekly podcast, I'm going to be telling you what are my feelings, what are my thoughts, and also what are my actions to find them friends. Also, if you're now wondering why do I need friends at all in this video, in that video, I'm not sure where the link will appear, <laughs> you actually can see what are my thoughts about why do we need community at all. And I can tell you that I was convinced for majority of my life that I don't need any, you know, close friends um, nearby because... It actually doesn't matter. I'm very motivated. I'm very kind of uh, self-driven, so I don't need any support. And today I'm not looking for any support. What I'm looking is for some sort of a distraction from my non-stop goal setting, planning, productivity and everything and achieving things. I look for some kind of fun part of my life. <laughs> Guys, please help me find you. <laughs> and uh, yes, so... This is more about that and I also sometimes feel like, especially with parenting, that I want to share, you know, some struggles that I go through with people who do understand because telling it to a friend of mine who doesn't have a kid and they're kind of, you know, living a completely different life is really difficult because when you share them type of, um, you know, sometimes um, things that you are ah, barely surviving through, <laughs> you really want the person to know what you're talking about rather than just uh, giving you advice, oh, just kind of, you know, go to Bali for a month or so. <laughs> I wish I could. So in my other video as well, I was recommending that you could actually start using the social media and, uh, you know, you could um, kind of screen your own interests and maybe like join some, I don't know, like painting or whatever, dancing groups so that you can actually find your friend there. And I must say that I've been going for Bali here for like a year now and I am just too shy to speak to people. <laughs> I cannot just come over to a person and say like, oh, by the way, would you be my friend, please? Because, you know, I don't have anyone to go out here with. So it's uh, easier said than done. But what I've actually overstepped my fear recently with, I did invite... Um, the So from Daniel's preschool that he goes to, another girl who has the same age, um, well, nearly the same age baby as my Daniel, uh, to go out. So fingers crossed this works out. <laughs> and also I am um, actually trying to look for some sort of a meetups or groups within Amsterdam, maybe for bloggers or influencers who would be working from home as myself majority of time um, so that I could actually organize, maybe maybe we could, I don't know, like work together uh, somewhere out. Um, I don't know, maybe we go, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know what people do together <laughs> no more. It just feels like I've seen friends 
uh, so long ago. But um, the thing that worked really well for me was this conference that I went to. I already mentioned it, I think, 35 million times. <laughs> but my point being is um, it's very much easy to find like-minded people in the area where I mean, the conference was dedicated to being a blogger and everyone there hence was a blogger so it was really easy to connect because then you don't need to really be kind of talking you know like when when you're from two different planets and you're like trying to understand each other but it just doesn't work out okay let me try to make a commitment right now so i am trying to kind of set a new year resolution which is quite early for the new year yet but i already started this podcast so i need to make a resolution so i'm gonna do it now <laughs> i'm gonna now say that in a year from now i am gonna have no i want to say a number but sufficient amount of uh, girlfriends that i could lawfully locate it not somewhere like in america or ukraine or poland or wherever the, my 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 friends right now are but actually in amsterdam so that i could have nice Saturday or Friday out or whatever time is with fingers crossed guys <laughs> and for the next week so actually this week I've mentioned to you already that I've invited Daniel's um what did you say mom <laughs> no uh, Daniel's friend's uh, mom to go out together so um, fingers crossed that um works out very nice for both of us and also I'm, I'm gonna try a few other uh, things and I'm, I'm gonna try to set up some I don't know maybe lunch or dinners with people that I already do know here but just kind of never happen to extend um, to, to have extended talk or, or, or meet up or whatever so let me let me try that and I'm gonna share with you in the next week podcast how did that go whether I moved forward anywhere and please guys please share your uh, recent or not recent experience in, in looking for friends in a new country or maybe in a country where you are since uh, since you were born but you also like you know explore I don't know new places and new people and if you have any advice how to make friends in these difficult times <laughs> after lockdown where everyone literally sits at home um maybe they don't actually maybe it's only me but anyway so if you have advice please do share and if you are in netherlands or amsterdam please reach out let's go out